joining us right now on the Corky's Hotline. It is Mark Martinez. Hey, Mark, can't thank you enough for taking a few minutes on San Diego Sports Leader Double X 1090. You're on with Dave and Jeff. Can you even describe the emotions of the week? Well, not really. First of all, thank you for having me on. It's an honor to be on your show. And, and uh, you know, honestly, um, no, it's hard to describe. You know, there's a lot of peaks and valleys, you know, a lot of anxiety, a lot of fear. Um, you know, when, when one of your friends and obviously one of your colleagues kind of goes through something like that. So it's been a, a roller coaster week. Um, you know, at the beginning of the week, it was hard to sleep and breathe and the whole deal. And, and then uh, Coach Glenn goes in for a surgery on Tuesday and um, got to visit him on Wednesday. And seeing him on Wednesday kind of lifted a huge weight off all of our shoulders because um, whatever they did, they did an unbelievable job, you know, uh, uh, over at the hospital and his operation. And so it just made us all feel better, and his spirits were great. And I saw him yesterday, same deal. And, uh, you know, he's itching to get back, so it's kind of – to the form he's, he's staying on a positive plan and, and wanting to get back as soon as possible and coach can you explain the process as far as when tony came to you and said look this is what's going to happen you're the guy that's going to take over this is how long i expect to be out how everything kind of broke down yeah just to, you know it was uh, earlier this uh year starting into the spring you know obviously we had a little bit of a heads up before everybody else um we knew this was coming and so you know our whole team our whole program was pretty much prepared um, for this day coming up, you know, on, on, on Tuesday, um, well before everybody else knew. And so we had a lot of time to kind of, you know, coach and, and myself and the, and the rest of the coaching staff to kind of sit down and, and, you know, make sure that everything, you know, all our ducks were in a row and, and we're ready to go and, and, and prepared. And, and so uh, the other part of it was that, you know, Coach Gwynn, you know, pretty much every day would tell us is, look, we're not going to dwell on it. We're not going to be negative. We're going to be positive. We're going to stay on that plan no matter what. And so, um, yeah, there were some, you know, some tough times. You know, it would be addressed occasionally in the locker room, but um, the focus would go away from that and then go on to the team in preparation. And so our team and, and coaching staff has had a lot of time to kind of take it all in, um, go through some, you know, tough times uh, earlier and then be prepared for him um, going to have surgery this week. And, and uh, again, the prognosis and everything is, you know, hopefully all our prayers and thoughts and the positive part of it has worked. So it looks great. Mark Martinez is the assistant coach for the San Diego State baseball team. He'll step in and, and take over while Tony Gwynn is recovering from cancer surgery, and he joins us on San Diego Sports Leader Double X 1090. Mark, take us on the bench with Tony. What's he like as a manager? Well, you know, he's uh, obviously very hands-on. You know, I think the, the one thing he does really, really good is help kind of guys manage at-bats. You know, he did it for 20 years in, in the big leagues, and, and so there's a lot of conversation during the, the course of a game on the offensive side of it, you know, he'll he'll pull guys aside and and either replay an at bat or prepare a kid for their next at bat. Um, it, it's a it's a calming influence on the bench. Um, you know, obviously we, I'm standing right next to him, so there's a lot of times where I'll kind of you know, hey hey, let's hit and run here, let's bunt or or whatever it might be. Or I'll do the same thing. Hey, coach, what do you got? We're gonna bunt here. You know, either say yes or no, or you know, go for it, or whatever. And um, but, but a lot of it is just, a, you know, individual, you know, teaching of each kid, you know, planning that bat. And then he'll also bring the group together. Um, if he sees something, um, if a pitcher is doing something, how he's setting up, if the guy's tipping his pitches or, you know, whatever it might be, and he'll bring the entire group up, whether they're in the lineup or not, to prepare kids also for, you know, a possible pinch hit performance. Um, but that's ongoing every single game. You know, either a kid will be getting prepared for an at-bat or coming back from an at-bat, whether it's good or bad, and they'll replay that at-bat and try to, you know, teach the kids and have them, you know, get ready for their next opportunity. Mark, one thing you always hear about great players, and, and Tony Gwynn obviously was a great player, is sometimes it's difficult for them to make the transition to being a coach because the kids or the guys they are coaching – don't see the ball, don't play the game the same way that they did. How well has Tony handled that transition from player, Hall of Fame player, to coach and trying to get his message through to these young kids? 
Well, I think he would tell you, like, any, any, you know, he's he said this many, many times in the past, is that, you know, uh, coming, you know, transitioning from Major League Baseball as a player and then transitioning into a college baseball coach um, w- was a lot harder than I think he thought it was. Um, and, and now, um, obviously, we have a system in place that we've been working on since I've been here for seven years. With that, you know, I've had peaks and valleys, and, and you know, the system is starting to work, and, and the kids are starting to understand. But, you know, the one thing about Tony is that, yes, he does see things um, on a higher level than most individuals um, on, on earth regarding baseball. Um, you know, he can, he can see things that, you know, the normal even major leaguer can't see. Um, whether it's a you know a guy's fingers up on the baseball or whatever it might be, and so I think getting kind of getting to the point where he's not trying to teach our guys how to hit like Tony Gwynn, he's teaching them how to hit or do it right and be fundamentally sound. And whatever they are, if they're if a guy if they're a guy that hits the ball the other way, great, that's going to come out. If they're a guy that you know has a little power pull side or whatever it might be, that's going to come out. And and I think that's you know developed over time with Tony and. And uh, it's a very simple approach, but at the same time, it's complex. And uh, and so getting the kids to understand is has really gotten you know he's really really gotten good at that. And now our kids really know exactly what he's looking for. And and now it's their job to go out and put it to work. Coach, what kind of year can we expect from San Diego State baseball? I mean, you have TCU in your conference, very tough. You lose Brandon Meredith, who was drafted last year. You have uh, Jamel Torres, a senior, coming back. What kind of year should we expect from this young San Diego State team? No, well, I think the one thing and I'll answer that is that you know our culture and our program has changed, and it's been an ongoing going process. I think a lot of it has to do with the kids that you know come through the program, come to kids that have been in the program, you know, in the past. Again, just to speak to that, we have Steven Strasburg tonight. We're retiring his jersey. Um, again, he's done great things for our program on and off the field. Um, there's also some intrinsic value what he brings to the program, you know, regarding character um, and, and those things. And, you know, the last last year and, and then I guess the year before, um, you know, we had a lot of challenges last year with Coach Gwynn being out in the fall. Um, and now, again, we have some challenges this spring, but we're lucky. You know, Coach Gwynn was here all during our spring training, which is fall baseball. And up until this past Monday, he's been here. And so the preparation part of it for our kids is in place. The other part is we just had we've had an unbelievable recruiting class. Eric Valenzuela is our uh, recruiting coordinator. He's done a phenomenal job for our program, bringing in great players um, in, in addition to great students. And so, um, you know, last year we had a lot of freshmen. We we would start you know six, seven, eight freshmen during games, and and we took our lumps last year based on our lack of experience. But what that that has done is is given us a young team with a lot of experience. Cody Smith's a sophomore in center field who was a freshman All-American. He's starting for us. Evan Potter and Tim Zier, uh, they both played, you know, shortstop and second base respectively. They're both sophomores, played a bunch for us last year. Cole Swanson's our Friday night pitcher. He was a freshman All-American. He's a sophomore this year. And our starting catcher is a sophomore, Brad Hanel from Rancho, I'm sorry, Bernardo High School, excuse me. And, um, you know, again, those kids are all sophomores, but there's a ton of experience. Um, and so what can we expect? Um, a lot better baseball this year, more experienced baseball. But without faults, we're going to also start, start some freshmen as well. Um, we're going to start a freshman at first base, uh, first base Stephen Polaris, a freshman at third base, Ryan Muno, and a freshman in right field in Greg Allen. And so uh, it's still going to be a young team, more talented. Um, we have a lot more team speed. Um, we got to have a deeper pitching staff. Uh, I guess the best way to answer that is we will see. Yeah, 545, they'll retire Steven Strasburg's number tonight. You know that's going to be great. First pitch tonight, Washington in town, 6 p.m., Tony Gwynn Stadium. Coach, in our final 15 seconds, are you going to have a cell phone next to you? Will Tony be texting you during the game? Well, I can promise you this, is that we've made a pact to, to, to definitely stay in touch prior to and, and post game. Now, if there's any huge situations, if I have to run up the tunnel, I'll probably give him a call. <laughs> hey, final well, thing. Definitely. We've asked, hey, Mark, before we let you go, we've asked every guest this week, what's the first concert you bought a ticket to? Do you remember? Yeah, I do. And, again, this is dating me. It was, <laughs> uh, it was uh, 
music jams at Mile High Stadium in Denver, Colorado. Was Beach Boys, Fleetwood Mac, um, Crosby, Stills, and Nash. I mean, and there's just a bunch of people at Boston. It was pretty wow. cool. Wow. Old yeah. old school music festival. Hey, Mark, thanks so much. I know it's been a busy week. Dave and I really appreciate it. Good luck tonight. We'll do it again. Thank you very much for having me, and I uh, hope to see everybody at the yard tonight. It'll be you great. Like we Mark. said, Dave, 545, they will retire the number of Steven Strasburg. First pitch at 6 p.m., Tony Gwynn Stadium, as they take on the Washington Huskies.